Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to BSS Online Education. I am Mr. Wilson, your math teacher. Today I am here to teach you exercise 8.4 from Level Up Maths. Let's start the exercise work. Question number 3. The table shows medals won by the 5 countries on an Olympic uh, and Olympic Games. It's gold, silver, bronze and countries, 5 countries have given UK, UK USA, China, Germany, Russia. Uh, they have given this table. So for this uh, workout, it's better if we do the additions. So I have done it here. Uh, 3 plus 2 plus 6 is got 11, 15, 23, 14, 52, like this, 22, 11, 43. Just work out before starting this work. A number this is draw a compound bar chart to show the different medals owned by each country. Compound bar chart, we all know that in a one bar win, uh, different information uh, expressed is called the compound bar chart. Like you can see that UK, three different informations given, gold, silver, bronze. So in a one bar, we have to express this. Let's uh, see the uh, drawing. If you see this in a graph, first we have to draw the L shapes. You can see that in a, uh, I have drawn it here. These L shapes, the down, you can write the country name, five countries, UK, USA, China, Germany, Russia. And then left side, the number of the medals, how many you will, starting from zero. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 out of 55. As you can see, that our mm, highest uh, is 52. So, easily 50 until 55 is going to be standard for us. And you can see that right side, three types of pictures we have given gold, we have uses any uh, different design, silver, different bronze is design, Dif different. You can use color, you can use others, one also, but three different going to be is okay for you. Let's say the UK one. UK, if you see that total, it was 11. So just until 11, you can see 10 little bit up 11 until 11. I have drawn a bar chart. So in this bar, what do you have to do that? First, gold is still three was that. You can see that three. Little bit half more than little bit up. I have drawn the gold one. Then you can see that silver is two. So from the uh, base manifest start again to it's going to be mass up. So what do you have to do that gold and silver three plus two. How much is that got five? So until five is going to be silver. You can see that uh, three was zero to three was gold three to five. It's come silver and rest of them automatically. It's bronze, which is six. You can see that five plus six eleven. Again, I express this one it's USA US was 52. So straight away we have to draw until 52 a bar chart and you have to check gold it's 15 so until 15 you can see that I have drawn gold design this design <clears throat> and then you can see second one 23 so you're gonna add that it's 38 so until 38 you can see that after 15 to 38 I have drawn the silver design less than 40 and the same way I did mm, it's 22 straight away I have drawn 22 and then gold was 12 so I have taken a 12 over there little bit up 10 and uh, the rest of them there is no bronze so rest of them automatically I have given it's uh, silver uh, if you see that uh, German 11 so until 11 you can in uh, German uh, size total size was same to same but gold was 6 so more than 5 there was no silver automatically rest of the empty one is going to be bronze and the fifth number 43 which is 8 is our gold and 17 so 8 plus 17 uh, 25 until 25 you can see that silver have drawn rest of them is our bronze in this way you can complete the compound bar chart let's answer the question from this bar chart which country owned the most metal easily we can see that this was the highest in USA and which country owned the fewest medal? Fewest, the lowest one. 11 and 11, which is UK and German. So UK and German. And uh, if we see the next questions, you can see how many gold medals were owned. Gold medals owned means you have to add all the gold. 3 plus 15 plus 12 plus 6 plus 8. It's 44 gold medals. How many bronze medals were won? If we add the bronze, 43 we can get there. Let's see the next question. Question number four, the dual bar chart graph shows the sales of five different uh, books online and uh, books during the shops, bookshops. So they sold, uh, they have to use us two color, uh, green color, blue color, uh, blue color for shops and uh, green color for online. Let's say the book one, book two, book three, book four, book five. So A number they're telling which book sold more copies in the 
shops than online usually you can see that every book online they sold the most if you see that online but only one book you can see that which is less online so book 5 this one green color is less so book 5 is going to be answered how many copies of book 2 were sold in total book 2 if you see that one is 40 and the one is 80 40 plus 80 120 copies how many more copies of book 1 sold online than shops if seen book 1 if we compare that online they sold 120 but shops they sold 90 120 minus 90 which is 3 more so answer is going to be 3 more copies let's see question number 5 the table shows the medals won by 5 countries uh, in Olympic games and then uh, you have to take okay, that's class 7a 7b the table shows the absence in two classes during a one week period class 7a 7b Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday <clears throat> let's say the questions what they say to do that uh, a dual bar chart show the data from this table you have to draw a dual bar chart dual bar chart will know that uh, one category say uh, on the same day uh, different categories when it shows us like couple bar chart you can see that Monday two bar I have drawn one is 7a one another is 7b 7a 7b different two colors you can use or two designs you can use I use this first one is empty second one I just given a little bit so if you can see that Monday it's a five students present here so four to six middle is the five I have drawn on Monday and 7b is the same together it's 2 1 2 is there and Tuesday if we see that it's a 6 6 students was there and 3 so 6 and 3 I have done Wednesday 10 5 you can see until 10 and uh, 5 is there and Thursday 7a it was 12 and uh, 7b it was 8 Friday 15 and uh, 13 was that let's see the questions answers from this bar chart on which day were these the most absence of for 7a and then 7b you can see that friday it was because highest both of them 7 and 7b how many absences were there in each week and that week 7a we can see that 48 how can you get 48 you have to add all the number like 5 plus 6 plus all the number you can add from here so you can get 48 and 7b we can get 31 if you add all the number and the from the table write the two sentences comparing the absence of the two classes sentence i will say to you that you can write your own comments there's no problem or you can copy my one but it should be informative from these bar you can see there are more absence uh, in 7a and you can see that every day 7a was the higher so we can say that there are more absence in 7a than 7b on each day or that week Another, you can see the number of absent increase each day and in classes. You can see that each day it was increasing. It was increasing. So in this way, uh, we can compare that, or we can tell uh, the highest one, which was on a Friday, uh, the number of the absent students was the highest. Different, different way you can uh, give the comments your own one. Uh, that's not a matter for you. All right. Thanks for today. Allah Hafiz.